Here is a 7 inch tablet that is powered by the MediaTek Octa Core processor. It comes with dual SIM slots, supports 3G with phone functionality. I am Gogi from Gogi.in and you are watching the review of Webzen Tab Octavia. Inside the box, you will find this 7 inch tablet with 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution. It comes with a removable battery of 6000 mAh capacity, travel charger, data cable and here is the earphone. This is a standard quality earphone and the final content is the user manual. Here is a 7 inch tablet loaded with all of the features that you will find on a smartphone. It's pretty slim, easy to carry and you can also use this as a phone. Here are the instructions on how to remove the back panel. The back side is with off-white color matte finish. This is the first tablet that I've seen that comes with a removable battery. Here are the speaker vents, dual speaker vents and it's made by Webzden USA. Here is the Webzden logo and the 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera using the Carl Zeiss lens with LED flash. On the front you'll find the three touch sensitive buttons. On the top you'll find the in-call speaker, sensors and the front camera of 5 megapixel resolution. This tablet came with a factory fitted screen guard as you can see. Volume rockers are placed on the left side, power button on the right, micro USB port and the mic at the bottom and 3.5mm audio jack on the top. The body is made up of plastic, the sides are greyish color with metallic finish and the back panel is with matte finish. Build quality and the finishing is very good. Let's open up the back panel. This is a dual SIM tablet, there is a micro SIM slot and a normal SIM slot and a micro SD card slot. This is the micro SD card slot. All of these slots are overlapping. Both the SIM slots support 3G. The tablet weight with battery is 274 grams. It is 8.71 mm thick. The breadth is 105.42 mm and the length is over 153 mm. Let's power on. It's running Android KitKat 4.4.4. And here is the lock screen. Color reproduction looks really good. As you can see, 3G is supported. Touch is very smooth and responsive. The dedicated navigation buttons, they do not light up. Viewing angles are very good. You can clearly see the fonts and the icons from different angles. By default, the tablet is set to the full brightness mode. I'm going to switch to auto. Here is the phone dialer. If you're using both the sims, you can call directly from any of the sims. Native video calling, as you can see, is supported. Adobe, Kindle, Battery, Facebook, Equalizer, FM Radio, Gesture Search, QR Code Reader, WhatsApp and WPS Office comes pre-installed. Wi-Fi Direct, Wi-Fi Hotspot, USB and Bluetooth Tethering is supported. You can choose from these launcher options. In display, you will find the clear motion option and this tablet also supports flip cover with S-View window, as you can see here. I have set the preferred install location to external SD card. Of the 16GB internal storage, you get around 4GB for apps and about 8GB as the phone storage. Here is the free space for apps, around 4GB free. And of the 2GB RAM, you get around 1.3GB free on the first boot. This tablet also comes with 2GB extra burst RAM slash virtual RAM as mentioned on their website. You can see there is a swap space of about 1GB. Air gestures are supported and there is built-in GPS. The tablet supports many languages and Hindi language is supported. There is LED notification and you can also set up the colors for notification calls and messages. And here are the list of colors. Here is the LED light. You can use this tablet like a phone, use in-call speaker, loudspeaker, Bluetooth or earphone. There are dual speaker vents on the back side, however, there is only one speaker with 3D sound support. As you can see, there is only one speaker here. The tablet is very comfortable to hold even when you are using it like a phone. OTG is supported. I have connected an OTG pen drive and it works. There is an equalizer application that comes pre-installed. You can set it up for enhanced audio output. This Octavia tab houses the MediaTek MT6592 octa-core chipset Cortex-A7 clocked at 1.7GHz with Mali 450MP GPU. 
It's running Android 4.4.4 KitKat Plus over a 7-inch screen with 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution. And here are the list of sensors. There is accelerometer proximity, light orientation and magnetic sensor. The time is 327, battery at 98% and the temperature at 32 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 13209, Antutu score is 27455, Vilamo Metal 889, Multicore 1374, Browser 2003, Dynamark 2 is at 50.3 FPS and this tablet supports 5 point multi-touch. Here is the camera interface, rear camera is 30 megapixel, front camera is 5 megapixel, there is zero shutter delay, face detection, smile shot, HDR. The picture size for the rear camera is 30 megapixel in both full screen preview size as well as 4 to 3 preview size. The rear camera can shoot full HD videos at 30 frames per second. Front camera is 5 megapixel as you can see in both full screen as well as 4 to 3 aspect ratio. I am recording this video and this video got recorded in 1080p at 30 frames per second. After 29 minutes the battery dropped by 12% and the temperature is 37 degrees. For the next test Wi-Fi is on and I am going to set the brightness to the maximum. I am now going to play the video shot using the same tablet in a loop. After 34 minutes, the battery dropped by 21% and the temperature is 38 degrees. And now let's play some games Asphalt 8 set to the highest visual quality. This game got installed on the external storage. Though the game is smooth, you might feel a bit of lag here and there, probably because of the screen size and the resolution. Overall, the gaming performance is very good and you can play high-end games. Let's check out Modern Combat 5. This game also got installed on the external storage. After 29 minutes, the battery dropped by 14% and the temperature is 40 degrees. This is the WebGen tab Octavia. It's called a tablet. I would rather call it a tablet because it sports a 7-inch screen. This tablet is powered by the MediaTek Octa-Core processor and it comes with all of the features that you will find on a smartphone. This tablet runs Android KitKat 4.4.4+ with 2GB RAM and 16GB internal storage along with microSD card support. The rear camera is 13 megapixel and the front camera is 5 megapixel and the picture quality is about average. Build quality and the finishing is very good. You can expect the battery life of about 3 to 5 hours. This Octaco tablet is available on ebay.in for Rs 22,500. Do visit my website to check sample images and videos shot using this tablet. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and don't forget to share.